Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge Um, I'm uh, excited as usual to get into this. It's been a while since I've filmed this since I've played this a Lot happened last episode as you guys know so I'm really excited to see how this whole situation plays out If you missed the last episode definitely go watch it. It's a doozy, but Long story short, Zara woohooed with Alex. I'm pretty sure it was on Christmas and she's now pregnant. So that just like completely demolished any story or any plans that I had for these Sims. It's very complicated now because of Ren and all that. So a lot of you guys hate Zara now. You want her to move out more than anything and I don't blame you. <laughs> so I'm gonna have Zara have the baby depending on what color it is when it comes out <laughs> is probably how we're gonna play it because okay if it's a dark baby then we can say that it's dirks and no one will ever question it but if the baby is like light like alex nobody's gonna believe that that's dirks baby so yeah it all depends on that so i'm very excited to see what happens let's get into it all right, guys, here we are back in the legacy household. I am so stoked to be back. I love this Let's Play so much. You guys are saying that it's like a freaking telenovela and I completely agree. There's so much drama that happens. I don't even make it happen. It's just, it is what it is. Okay, so what trimester are you in? I'm very interested. Question mark, question mark, question mark. It's gonna be soon, guys. I cannot wait. I can't wait. Okay, so it looks like Miss Olive is sleeping. If you guys don't remember, we gave her the style influencer career. She's already level three. It looks like she's gonna get promoted when she goes to work next, so good on you. Max, I don't even know what the Oh yeah, you maxed all the skills I wanted you to max. Um, you're doing good in your job. Oh, well, when do you age up? Oof. One day. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Okay. Max's birthday is tomorrow. And then we got Oliver. No, what's his name again? Charlie. Charlie's birthday and then Zara's birthday. But I think Zara will be gone by then. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm kind of excited to have, like, an emptier household and work more on this next generation. Oh, my God. You poor thing. Go to sleep. And then we'll work on... Oh my god, what's happening over here? Oh, oh my god. Okay, so as of right now... Look at they're not getting along. As of right now, we know that... Zara is pregnant with Alex's baby. But... None of the Sims here know. So... It's kind of like our little secret for now. Um, everyone thinks right now that Zara is pregnant with Dirk's baby. So yeah, no one knows. No one knows that they Alex and Ren or Alex and Zara even woohooed. Like that's she knows and we know, but no one else knows. And then one of you guys said that Zara, when she took her pregnancy test, she went to tell Max that she was pregnant. So some of you guys think that it might be Max's baby, which would be crazy. Am I right? <laughs> just like so insane um but i guess we'll see when she has it because honestly i'm not even 100 percent sure and then a lot of you guys were saying that you wanted all it or that you wanted orange to be more in charlie's life and that you think that he's like putting in a good enough effort you're right he has been around oh you poor thing you want to walk he has been around for a like he's been like showing up which i think is pretty cool um, let's take him on a long walk. <sighs> so maybe we can give him a shot. We need to, um, invite him over to age him up. Is there a cake in here? Of course not. Of course not. I'll have Olive make him one when she wakes up. Look at, she's got all these paintings in here. Let's sell the duplicates. I do want to save these for when we get, do the house makeover. Uh, for Olive. I cannot wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna do it when Max and Zara... Oof, but Max isn't moving out. 
Maybe we'll just when Zara moves out. And then we can build Max like a little um, elderly hut in the back or something that he can live in. <laughs> I wonder how Max Jr. is. I, I wonder if he aged up. Let's invite him over. Wait, what time is it? No, it's too late. It's too late. You know what? Where is he? Did he age up already? I'm so curious to see what- Oh, he did. Oh my God, we're summoning him. Ooh, 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 Ren. Oh my god, get away from the garlic. Come say hi to your mans. Compliment his outfit. Joke about fashion. Oh, look. He's happy to see her. Embrace. Brighten his day. Okay, Max Jr., where the heck are you, my boy? Where are you? Is that you? Is this you? Oh. Oh my god, oh my god, he's so cute! From what I can see. Oh man. Max and April should have had more kids. Very interesting. He's definitely got Max's mouth. Um, what does he have of April's? Her eyes, perhaps? I don't know, he doesn't really look like her. Okay, yeah, now that I put Max's skin details on him, he definitely looks like more like Max now, especially the mouth. All right, this is the hair that he had when he was younger. I kind of like it on him now. I also really like this one. But I don't know, is it too military? Okay, yeah, let's just keep him with the hair that he had before. And these are his traits, joke star, paranoid, and cat lover. Aww. He's a paranoid cat lover. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> does anyone else's dogs like suckle when they're sleeping? Because my dog is doing it right now and it's so loud. He's just like... <coughs> so gross. I hate that sound. All right, guys, here is Max Jr. He's a teenager, so I tried to dress him a bit teenager-y. I really like him. I hope you guys like him too. All right, back in action. You are awake. Why are you awake? Your energy is so low. Oh, look. How cute is that? They both have the same hair. <laughs> That's so funny. Max, why don't you come say what's up? Give him a heartfelt compliment. Express admiration. Just let him know that you're proud of the way that he's growing up. Aww. They do look the same, but you can see you can see April in his profile. Wow, that's crazy! Give residence keys. We forgot to do that. Teach about responsibility. Zara, when are you gonna give birth, dog? Hurry up! <laughs> oh, good morning, Olive. Yes, finally. Okay, 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 okay. Um, where are you? Where you at? Okay. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna send you to the hospital alone. Ain't nobody got time to join you? <laughs> or does anybody feel like join? Like, I don't know, do you deserve having someone to join you? I don't know. Come and tuck him in. Oh God, okay. I don't know why I'm so scared. Oh my god, it's a boy. Why are there so many boys in this house or this family? Glenn Prince. <laughs> she would, wouldn't she? Oh my gosh, for now. Preston, Shannon Tucker, Gary. Okay, I came across this name, Dorian. Dorian Wiles, I actually like that. This name reminds me of, um, Dorian Gray, and I've always liked that name, so we're gonna go with that. I can't believe she had a boy. Where is it? I'm gonna need you to come home now. Oh. Oh. Okay, the baby's kinda light. Who's your dad, though? I need to- how do- how can we- Shoot, how do we find out? I don't think it's Max's, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so it is Alex's. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know what to do. Oh, it is his! He has a child! Oof! 
I loved the idea of telling everyone that it was Dirk's baby, but no one is going to believe that. So... I'm going to move Zara out. Let me just make sure I got all her skills recorded. She maxed out dancing, got that vampire lore, video gaming, got... Okay. Okay. Was there anything else I wanted her to do before we get her to leave? Because, okay, I did want to go over this stuff with you guys really quick. One of you guys asked for like an update on points. So one point per generation. So there's been three. So we have three points for that. Um, let's see here. We need to memorialize each heir somehow. You can make a video game for them, but that requires nine programming skill. And she's only at eight, so we can't do that. Uh, you get a point once you hit like money thresholds. So we're at 453,000. So we have four points for that. And once we hit 510, we get another point and it just keeps going up and up and up. Uh, for every three unique traits that a primary spouse has, you get a point. So we have goofball, dog lover, cheerful, cat lover, and geek. So we only have enough for one point as of right now. Um, let's see. So for skills, if you max this, for every three skills maxed out, you get one point. So we have reached 19 out of everybody, everyone that's been in this game. Um, we have maxed out 19 of them. That includes child traits. So we have six points for that. Um, let's see here. We have not completed any aspirations. So we don't have any points for that. It's kind of sad. We haven't completed any of the collections except for collect and store on the family lot every single consumable aspiration award. I have bought all of those. So we get a point for that. And then have at least six Sims sitting at the table eating at the same time. And that's a point. Uh, for medals, we have five bronze medals, two silver medals, and four gold medals. So, yeah, that's that. Um, we have six potions of youths right now, so that's three points. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Like, we're doing a little bit rough on points, but it's only the third generation, so I think we'll be okay. And Zara doesn't do... She has no use for us anymore. So, I think it's about time we... I think it's about time we aged or uh, moved her out. So, we're going to move her out with... Alex cuz I mean that makes sense doesn't it and then every we're just and then everyone in the house is gonna know that her and Alex had a kid together I think that Max would definitely stay friends with Alex just because they've been friends for so long they've been friends since elementary school so I kind of think that he wouldn't mind. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're moving that moving uh, you into here, you into here, and then Rowan. Uh, we'll move her out in a second. Okay, and then should we give her some money? <laughs> Maybe we should, cause she did does uh, work. Let's give her twenty thousand. Okay, that's only fair, I think, because the bulk of our money comes from our plants. Gosh, this really hurts. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, there's that. And so we need to go back to the goth household, which, where are they? Where do they live? Here we go. 
Okay, and we're going to be moving Rowan out into her own. Oh my god, Tracy had a baby? You guys, what? That's crazy. Okay, let's move her into the Perez household. These girls are so cute, and we only know this one. I'm kind of sad about that. Bye bye Why do you guys have so much money? Oh my word. Okay, there you go. Zara and Alex live together now, and they have a baby together. Crazy. Just crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I was kind of hoping the baby was gonna come out dark so that she could tell people that it was Dirk's. That would have been so much fun and so spicy, but at least the baby will grow up with his real father. <laughs> so this is the new household. Not gonna lie, I'm okay with it. I am definitely okay with it. All right, Bean, what's the matter? You need some fun? Olive, why don't you play with him? Oh my gosh, he's in his socks. Gosh, that's so sad. He's probably so cold. Um, let's see here. Let's... Where's the play one? Play. That should get his fun up. All right. Once you're done playing with him, can you please... <gasps> Read Charlie to sleep. Let's get rid of this bassinet. Bye. What else around here is Zara's? Oh, you know what? She has pictures up. Ugh. Should we just wipe her off the face of the earth? <laughs> well, no, because it's still there's. I mean, she's still the kid's mom's. So. Yeah, it's only fair that some of her pictures stay up. Yeah, we'll just keep the one. The one of her and Olive when Olive was a little baby. A lot of you guys- oh yeah, a lot of you guys wanted me to do like a, um, a- whatchamacallit, 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 like a recap of everybody, because you guys were kind of confused. Okay, so these are the two sims that we started with, Savannah and Carlos. We had Max, and we also had Ren. Ren is a vampire, so she's never gonna move out, she's never gonna age. I'm gonna keep her in the household until the end of the challenge so she can do gardening, so she can repair things, so she can tell stories of past generations to the newer generations. She's just gonna be that wise soul that's kind of always around. And then there's Max. Um, he is the second heir, because with my heirs, it goes opposite gender. So the first heir was Savannah, so the next heir had to be a boy, and then the next heir after that has to be a girl, and then the next heir after that has to be a boy. So it like goes back and forth. Um, so he got together with Zara when they were teens. Zara's parents are Garrison and Etta. We saw them a few times. So they had... Olive and Oliver, okay? Olive is the next heir since Max was the previous heir. Zara had a baby with Alexander Goff, okay? Um, Zara had a baby with Alexander Goff and that's Dorian. Alexander Goff is Max's best friend. I was also gonna get Alexander to get with Ren but he decided to sleep with Zara and have a kid with her, so that just, like, completely wiped out those plans. Max Jr. is Max's other son, who he had... Okay, so there was this girl, April, in the beginning. It was between April and Zara to who I wanted Max to get together with and have kids with. He chose Zara, but he's always had something for April. He mistakenly had a kid with April, who is Max Jr. This is April right here. Okay, um, what else, what else, what else? Oliver married Zach. Okay, um, Olive had a kid with Orange. His name is Charlie. Charlie is the next heir. And Orange's parents are famous. So Orange is kind of famous as well. I hope that cleared up everything for you guys. I know it's a very, very complicated web, but... <laughs> Things just happened. 
Go to sleep, love. Time for bed. Time for nighty night stories. Good girl. Okay, Max, once you're done eating, I'm gonna get you to cook. I need you to cook a cake for Orange, and I also need you to cook a cake for yourself, because you're gonna be an elder. Is that today? <gasps> yup. That's it's very sad. Not gonna lie. Not sure if I'm ready for this. You know who's gonna be the saddest? Ren. Can you imagine outliving your older brother? Watching him get old and die? <sighs> I can't even imagine that. So for Max's birthday, I kind of want people to give him gifts. This is kind of an important birthday because it's the last one that he's going to have. So I'm going to get Olive to paint him. Uh, let's do a large painting from reference. Oh, look at that. Let's do... Let's do like that. Boom. Okay. And that's going to be her gift to him. Uh, Ren, what should you give him? And why are you sleeping in his bed? Hmm. What should we give him? What's something super special? Maybe Ren should write a song about him and give that to him. And that will, like, take care of the memorializing him thing and the gift ew what the heck are you doing here max come say what's up um i don't think anyone else wants to see you though maybe you should ask him to leave be like it's cool that you're here i'm stoked to see you but it's kind of a sensitive time perhaps you should go for now <laughs> Look who else is just trotting up. What is this? I'm sorry. It's just really sensitive around here right now. I'll let you know when things have cooled off. See ya. Come say hi to April. That's weird that she would just show up like this. Hi. I just came over because... Why? I heard about Zara. I'm really sorry. I can't even imagine how crazy that is for you. Yay, look who else showed up! Hi! Invite in, it's so good to see you. You have no idea, give residence keys, definitely. Yay, you got yourself a key, my boy. Please, please, come whenever you like. It is so, so good to see you. I hate it when everyone hangs out in Ren's house. Like, that's not- that's not what it's for, you know? Ooh, do I smell Oliver? I do! Hello, let's enthuse about dogs. Hey, it's like they knew it was Max's birthday. Huh. It seems like everyone important is here. So why don't we just have him blow out the candles? You guys, this is crazy. I can't believe Max is gonna be an elder. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Let me just make sure that it is his birthday. It is, okay. <sighs> Let's age you up. Okay, what's wrong? Why can't you? Happy birthday, Max. It's your last birthday of your life. You're gonna be an elder. That is so wild. Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and intermin interminable, interminable? Naps await. Party like the Reaper is not right around the corner. Oh. All right. I'm going to give him a little edit and create a sim just to make him look like an elder. Oh, we forgot to invite Max Jr. around. Oh my gosh, you guys, he does look old. Not gonna lie, he does. Look at that. Look at them wrinkles showing. Should we give him gray hair? Oh! 
Okay, I'm liking this gray. It's more of like a pastel purple gray. I like it. Your brows need to be lightened a little bit, boy. Um, what else? <gasps> oh, that's just bad. No, no, no. All right, here he is, nice and old. Um, I really like this shirt. I think you can wear this as an elder if you'd like, and it'd be okay. Alrighty, here is elderly Max. Super freaking sad. I guess technically Zara and Alex should be elders as well. So I'll have to fix them up later. It's not that important, so I'm not gonna put it in the video, but I will do it. <laughs> Look at you. Look at the egg or the Easter or the bunny fool is blessing our crops again. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? You pretty much have gotten some good sleep. You're gonna wake up and you're gonna be super duper hungry. Really, Ren? That is extremely childish of you. All right, let's see what we got for Charlie, shall we? There's fried tilapia. Sure, why not? All right, get up, boy, grab a serving. Oh no, it's spoiled now. Shoot. Um, okay, maybe don't eat that. Fish tacos? Sure, come grab a serving of these. April should be an elder now too, now that I think about it. Ooh, resolution complete. Olive completed her resolution of getting a promotion. Woo! She's now an ensemble author. Ooh, we got a PC. Nice, good job, girl. Very, very good job, okay. I need you to come give this child a bath. He needs it so freaking badly. Aww. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> so adorable. All right, let's uh, potty train him as well. Um, what, how are his skills? Pretty good. He needs potty and thinking. Alright, Olive, when do you have work next? And can you stop with the tacos? Seriously. There, okay. Do you have work today? Four hours. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and invite Orange over really quick so we can age him up. Happy birthday! <laughs> Guess it's not technically your birthday. We're kind of just aging you up. Oh my gosh, Moose, you're hungry! <laughs> Let's fill it. All right, let's have a look at him. Let's see what traits he got. Okay, he is unstoppable fame, outgoing, and jealous. And he wants to be a joke star. Okay, sure, fine. Hmm. I guess a new outfit is in order, but other than that, he's fine. Okay, uh, I went a little wild. I changed his hair and I also gave him glasses because not a lot of people in my series have glasses. And I like the thought of him like getting older and then like needing glasses over time because his sight's going. So yeah, here is a more um, adult orange Bailey moon for y'all. I really need to download some new guy hairs. I'm tired of using the same hairs over and over and over. I'm sure you guys are tired of it too. Oh my god. What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. A friend has passed. I was like, what the heck? Who died? But I made her mourn Silas to strengthen his connection to the physical world. And she got a sad mood lit from it. Poor baby. What are you- why are you- what are you- Chat with Orange. Okay, fine. Um, Olive, I need you to hang out with him. Maybe ask about career. Does he even have a career, I wonder? He's unemployed. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, I really like them together. They look real cute. Who does he have a bad relationship with? Zach? No way. Well, that just won't do. We need to help him fix that. If he's going to be a part of this family. Let's give him residence keys too, just so he can come and see the baby whenever he wants. 
<laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. It's kind of weird that he was just like completely absent the whole time that she was pregnant. I don't know. Just seems kind of strange. And you know who I haven't seen in a really long time? The gardener. I wonder what happened to her. You enjoying those fish tacos? Olive, did you finish that painting of him? You did. Aww. Let's call it for dad. Okay, so yeah, before the next episode, I am going to redo this house to suit Olive's needs. I'm probably going to build Max a little hut somewhere to spend the rest of his days. And yeah. That's that. I can't believe this bean is still asleep. He sleeps a lot. It's really annoying how he has to come all the way to Ren's house to eat. Like, why can't you just eat in your room or in the living room or something? Cute. She cheered him up. How sweet. Hopefully you get promoted today, Max. That would be radical if you could get to level 10 before you die. I highly doubt it you're on the level 7, but still. But still, but still, but still. Cuteness. I love this. Cute little moosey moose. Aw, become companions. No, that's Olive's thing. I'm gonna get Ren to invite over Lilith so that we can work on her vampire skills. Um, let's see, what should we do? Hey, wait! Where did you go? Oh my god, oh, okay, here she is. Alright, let's, um... Vampire... Lilith needs to be in a better emotional state. What do you mean she's happy? Ooh! Ooh! Select a brand for Max. He's an elder and he's already, he's like getting up there. Diamond agent or villain? Do you guys see Max being a villain? He's not evil though, so let's just go with Diamond Agent. Good boy. Alright, let's request training from Lilith now. Oh, you're just gonna do it in Olive's room? Great. <laughs> Great! Okay, Moose, you're asking the wrong person for a walk. <laughs> Max, why don't you take Moose for a walk? Um, let's see, go for jog. This little bean is just going potty. I really want him to be potty trained by the time he ages up today. And Ren just reached fitness level 9. What the? No! No! Stop it! What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Ask to leave. You need to bounce on out of here, my dude. That did not just happen. Okay, Charlie maxed his potty skill. Look at those needs. Oh my gosh, they're so bad. Okay, I think... Okay, communication and potty for Mr. Charlie. All right, let's get Olive to go ahead and age him up. Everyone, come celebrate. Ren, why are you depressed? Hard times? She must be super lonely, poor thing. Time to age up the next heir. I'm so, 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 so excited to see what he's gonna look like. Happy birthday! Get a cute zombie cake. Okay. Right. Hopefully I can remember the parents' traits. 
So Olive is, I know that she's paranoid. She's a geek and she's cheerful. Orange is unstoppable fame. Dang it, he has weird traits. Shoot. Okay, well, we know that he's jealous. And, oh my gosh, what else was he? We can't check right now. Dang it. Um, oh no, this is a problem. What are we supposed to do? I think we're going to have to reroll his traits so that the kids' traits are fair. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to get him an aspiration for now, or let's see what he got. Art lover. So let's just cancel that. Um, so social butterfly, and then we're going to... Let's just randomize this trait for now. Chopstick savvy? Whatever. Okay, sure. All right, now we have to... Um, let me see here. Let me check him out and create a sim really quick. And look, Charlie's famous because of his dad. All right, hold on a second. This is all very confusing. Okay, so since he has, oh, outgoing. Okay, he's outgoing and jealous. So we just need to randomize one trait for him. That's not like a custom trait. Can I just get one trait? Okay, I'm gonna click it again, and the first one that's there is going to be the trait that Orange is gonna have, okay? Loves outdoors. Okay, so we're gonna change this trait to loves outdoors. Okay, so outgoing, jealous, loves outdoors. Cool. So now we're gonna go back to the legacy challenge one. Generate another child. I know this is all very confusing. <laughs> but this is the, the stuff you have to do for this challenge. So, let's see. Paranoid. Oh, one of you guys said that since she's a paranoid geek, that, like, she could be super, like, nerdy about conspiracy theories and stuff like that. And I, I love that so much. It goes so perfect. Okay, and then Homie is... He... Where is it? Loves outdoors. Jealous. And outgoing. Okay. All right. Let's see what our child's trait's going to be. Lazy. <laughs> Shoot. If you guys don't know the purpose of doing the traits through the legacy trait generator and entering the parents' traits, it's because they inherit traits from their parents. So they get two traits from their parents. It's it's random, whatever it decides. And then they get one unique trait. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so he got orange's lips for sure. That's kind of unfortunate because Olive has such big, beautiful lips and Orange has such small, thin ones. Darn it. Oh, well. Oh, well, not everyone is as blessed as Olive, I guess. So since Charlie is lazy, I kind of get the vibe that he won't want to get a job that he'll just want to live off of like the family's money and he won't want to contribute at all i think that would be pretty interesting what hair did he have when he was little i think he, did he have this one? Oh my gosh i don't remember no it was this one i do love this hair do we like these brows are they too like fleeky for a child those brows are nice okay sure and we're gonna keep it going with the olive dressing him like she's her little doll <laughs> so i assume he would be wearing something really nice or maybe he could dress like his dad in like uh basketball jerseys i think that would be cute okay guys this is what i decided on here <laughs> is his first outfit 
And here's his second outfit. They're pretty nice. Like, they look like they were styled by a personal stylist. So I'm a big fan, but honestly, he looks so much like Max Jr. I feel like maybe we should change his hair, like give him something different. It's just so hard because I don't really have that many hairs. Let's just do this hair. I don't think I've used this on a kid yet. So it's just a little bit different. I think it's kind of funny that he's lazy, but he dresses so nice. It's like, you can tell that his mom has an influence on him. So I think that when he gets older, maybe, will like give him a more chill laid back style since he'll start dressing himself since he probably won't care so <laughs> all right let's get him a regular bed for now i'm um, just gonna sell that look at all this stuff we have jeez all right there you go my boy come and what you can't claim a bed oh a sign here we go okay Nap lazily? Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever played as a lazy sim before. So this is gonna be interesting. Cute. Oh, look who's here. Do you have work? 14 hours? Hmm. Let's go on a date with Orange and see how it goes. Let's go to the restaurant we always go to, the one where Savannah and Carlos had their first date. I love that restaurant. Oh, look at her in her yellow dress. How sweet. <laughs> Compliment appearance, express admiration, and then come grab a table, please. Oh, look at them. They're such a cute couple, not gonna lie. She is queen. And look, the same waitress works here. Oh, look, he changed into a suit. What a sweet boy. Where are you guys going? What are you guys doing? Be caressed? What the? Why'd you guys have to come all the way over here to do that? Oh! Oh! Did they just have their first kiss? It looked like a first kiss, but I didn't tell them to do that. Oh, no! You guys! I haven't seen that since freaking Savannah. I wonder if it's this dress. Let me see, because that was Savannah's um like formal wear too, but in a different color. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's put her in. Let's put her in this one and see if that changes anything. Oh, it is the dress. Wow. Okay. All right. Cool. At least we figured it out. <laughs> All right, no drinks. I don't want Olive to get sloppy. So I'm gonna get her the Artisan Fish Trio. And then for Orange, he can have, um, he can have the Sizzle Brisket over Sour Clover Salad. <laughs> Sounds intense. All right, so, hi, how was your day? Compliment style, um, Um, ask about love life. How cute. She's so cute. You know, he kind of looks like Alex. Alexander. They have the same nose. They're starting to do romance stuff. It's going well. They're kind of just like flirting with each other, having conversations. They both finish their meal, which rarely happens when I go to uh, restaurants in The Sims. Hey, we got a gold medal. That's what's up. Maybe, mm, should we ask him to be our boyfriend? I don't know what is what is her aspiration. Can I see all of it? Let's see. Have a child or grandchild, have a child. She just wants to have one kid, so she doesn't need to have any more kids. 
I mean, she technically doesn't need to have anybody. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, look at the way he's looking at her and she's just on her phone. <sighs> Let's see what kind of moodlet moodlets she's got. Deep connection, flattered. A genuine compliment always boosts one's spirit. Oh, that's so sweet. Superb grub. That's really cute. Oh! I didn't tell them to do that. I just really want to see what they're going to do on their own. Can you go away, please? Cute. That's adorable. She's like, <gasps> go away! I want this chick to go away so bad. Oh my god, they keep kissing each other. Yeah, he left. Okay, it's time to go. I wonder, does she have any fame because of that? No. That'd be cool if she did. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know. Should Orange move in or should Olive be a single mom? Well, not really a single mom, just like... I don't know. I don't know. Like, should we have a wedding? We never have weddings. Like, only the first heir got married and Oliver, and that's it. And we've had so many sims. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know. Let me know. Ew, look at this toilet over here. Gross. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Let me know in the comments if you think I did well with Zara. Let me know in the comments as well what you think we should do about Orange. I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!